what's up youtube what's up what's up welcome back to another episode in this video we're going to learn the mistakes that we do when we're making piano right so let's start off with the basics so obviously you've got your drum pattern ready you've got your drum pattern ready then what you want to do now is like for me you can start with anything you can start with melodies but i want to advise people né? if you want to make ama piano nice maybe you are going for a skater vibe don't start with a long drum don't start with the melody start with the bass you see the bass this thing called bass i'm using stock plugins today né? i'm not gonna use any any uh third party plugins so guys like you start with the bass it's easier start with the bass form whatever you need to form from the bass pattern like let me show you so the bass sounds good but the thing that makes the bass not sound good right is when it's not loud so you have to press alt x there's a lot of ways to increase the volume but this is one of the common ways if this does not work then you can just come here and yeah or you can yeah level and then um, I learned from one of my subscribers that you can also add um, a reverb. Once you add a reverb, it also sounds good. Okay, let's. Alright, sounds nice. it's going together and nice so what you do next né, is like it's simple what you do next is add a melody add any melody any melody any melody is fine you can get it. so when i use top plugins uh, i love to come here because when i said i said i was using these things Start with a simple melody, then you can start going crazy. Only start simple.
a melody. Then after you can add a pad. I'm just going to use Purity Tool for a pad because the pads here in stock plugins are not that good. But yeah, by now if you're a producer for Ama Piano, you should have Purity. Purity is a must. It's a must have. It's a must have Sona. Before we used to use Ramelo Signal, but now we use Sona. Yeah. It's a must have. Purity is a must have, guys. It's a must have. And you see with this thing, it, me, I used to do it like this. I used to put two like this. Then maybe I would add. Uh,
for you guys today. So we did fix some mistakes that we do when we're making the low ground. It's not that some people, they make good baseline, right? They they do make, but it does not hit hard. It does not sound like it is the source. You see my low drum when you hear it alone. You know, you see, so there is that, like, it's supported, like, the baseline isn't right because I've got a fluty clipper here. Always put that. So, guys, I'm out. Please watch till the end. Support me. Comment on this video. Help me improve myself as I help you improve yourself. If the sound of the quality of this video is not nice, tell me so that I try to improve. Shout out and I'm out.